When you think of the internet, what probably comes to mind is sites such as Google, Facebook, or YouTube. These modern sites have hosted billions of visitors and have layouts that are designed to be streamlined and visually appealing. However, the internet of the early 2000s is a different story entirely. You may occasionally stumble across a website from these forgotten years of yore that appears to be like a relic from the past. Today we'll be looking at one of these sites, known simply as Fusion Anomaly. This site is complete with paranoid conspiratorial rambling in a layout that appears to be designed by a 13-year-old on GeoCities. This site is a veritable treasure trove of early internet oddity. So, let us see if we can get to the bottom of this anomaly. The best way to experience a site is to dive in headfirst, but that might not be as easy as you would think. The front page of the site is a Java graphic that is more likely than not broken, and other than that, there are no links on the page and no other ways to get into the site. Instead, you have to start on one of the pages themselves. I recommend a personal favorite subject of mine, aliens. As you can see, this page starts out innocuous enough with some dictionary definitions, but then things start to get a little odd. The aforementioned paranoid ramblings begin in earnest, a few of my favorite sections being, I have been thinking about the idea that extraterrestrials and that this penetration of the popular mind by images of extraterrestrials is something that we may not get a hold on until we accept the possibility that these aliens only can exist as information, and therefore the internet is the natural landing zone for these alien minds. And our institutions, our epistemologies, are bankrupt and exhausted. We must start anew and hope that with the help of shamanically inspired personalities, that we can cultivate this ancient mystery once again. The Logos can be unleashed, and the voice that spoke to Plato, Paramendes, and Heraclitus may speak again in the minds of modern people. When it does, the alienation will be ended because we will have become the alien. This page also goes on to describe the film Alien by Ridley Scott and various songs and albums featuring the word alien. You may have noticed that every few words on this wiki are highlighted. Every one of these highlighted words is a link which leads deeper and deeper into the anomaly. Curiously enough, this website doesn't have many features that are present on a normal wiki. There's no central index, and there's no search feature. The only way to advance into the site is to go deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. Curiously, investigating this site only seems to bring more questions than answers. There's very little information on who made this site, and for what purpose. There is a page called the Anomalog, which appears to be the actual homepage of the site, with links to a wiki and an FAQ. Finally, some answers, right? <sighs> Wrong. Both pages are dead, but there is a working link to something called Anomalog 2, which is a functioning WordPress which features some very bizarre images, but sheds very little light on the anomaly itself. The founder of the site appears to be known as Adam Jack. Though, if you click the links anywhere in the name, it will simply take you to either the pages Adam and Jack. Very helpful. It's difficult to fully encompass the width and breadth of this site with such a brief description. To really do the site justice, I highly encourage that you do some exploration for yourself. From the information we were able to gather, it's very difficult to ascertain just how large this site is, and who knows what kind of weird stuff could be buried in the depths of the site. We have provided some links in the description to help you get started on your exploration. If you make any discoveries, please feel free to comment them below, as I'd love to read about what you find. Thank you for tuning in to our very first episode of the Spooky Sam Show. We plan to upload more episodes in the future, so we hope you subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. Furthermore, if you have any suggestions for topics for us to cover, please feel free to comment them below.